Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you today? Good, visiting your art studio again. So there's your finished piece that we saw. Yes. Wow, that's different. Really unique. What do you call this one? This one is Love and Admiration. Wow. Let me get in there so you can see it a little bit. It's really hard to tell with the camera how textured that is. And unique. So today, why don't you tell me a little bit about your art? So we talked about you earlier. Let's um, come let's see some of your artwork. Okay. Some right up in here. Some in the studio I see. Wanna, can we, let's start in the studio. Let's see what this is. This one over here is uh, part of my snow series. It's an extremely three-dimensional textured piece. Wow, yeah. That uh, spells success. I put um, positive words in every piece I produce. I spend time thinking about it and putting a positive energy within every piece. Sometimes you can actually see the words. Other times you can just feel the energy. This one up here is called Green Peace. Okay. Which is green and blue, and it's written in pe I've written peace into it. And that's a different style altogether, two separate styles. This one is more of the growth series. Okay. And then let's come, this one over here. That is the latest one I just finished. And it's called Invigoration with bright, vivid yellow colors and then the purple with mirrored pieces within. I like to use a lot of different types of glass and wire and stone and all kinds of objects put in each piece. And then I incorporate that into the word I use too. So, for instance, part of exhilaration, the X, part of the X is a piece of glass. And it's very, very textured as well. I use a lot of very thick, heavy gels and different types of medium to create. Looks good. Let's go out here and see your next series. This one here, what is this one called? This one is called the Harmony Series. I've got, uh, there is... 12 of them so far. They're different yin and yang with the positive and the negative combined and a different piece of each and you get the exterior for each one of them. So you have to have an equal balance to have harmony. And so what what is the medium that you're using on your paintings? Or are they all the same or you change different? Uh, I basically use acrylic paint. However, I use I like to use different types of um, texture gels okay. in the paint as well. Acrylic seems to be the most beneficial. It seems to dry the quickest and give me the most versatility and flexibility in each of the pieces. These pieces are all for my new and upcoming art fair. Right. I finally completed the Harmony series. Each one of these also has words written into it. Love, trust, peace. Wow, those that are gorgeous. One's kindness, humility, and hope. Okay, so moving on a little bit, what would you say is this a different style here, or is this more of the same like in your series? Would is somebody looking at your art would these all go together, or is this going to be? Different series. How would you? This think? one is a. This is what is different series altogether. This one here goes in with my growth series. Okay. Yeah. This one is called Prosperity. Okay. It says Prosperity flows. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then this one up over here that we can see. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. The big swirl. Is that also in that growth uh -huh. series? Yes, it's called Karmic Swirl. And so, looking at it, yeah, it's quite a big piece. Yes, it's eight feet in eight size. Feet. Two four foot canvases together. It's called a diptych. Okay. I I came across these uh, diptychs and triptychs in an art history class I took in ancient Christian art. All right. And they always had triptychs and diptychs, and I found them very interesting. Okay. So last thing we'll look at is these here. And this is part of the snow series. Okay. So it's a light, a lot like the first one we saw, uh -huh. just in. Would you call that a certain style, or is it just a... Yes, this one is much more Pollock-esque, yet, however, I still use an awful lot of different objects. I've actually incorporated glass into the canvas. It has tears in it and stitched back together. I use all different kinds in this one. It's much more uh, full of energy. Okay. Whereas the growth series is much more peaceful 
and subdue. Okay, let's look at this yellow one over here. Tell me a little bit about that. So this is your art. This is You have a little bit of everything that you like to do uh, as far as how you paint with acrylic. Yes. Yes, okay. we've got different series of working in at the same time. This is the first one that's been this tall and narrow. I, had, uh, I also like to recycle and use every bit of wood and everything possible when I paint. And so with this one, I had two long pieces and I cut two small pieces and made this size of the canvas and it just seemed to work perfectly because it's actually one of my most favorite pieces. So you make your own canvas yes. and you go and you use the acrylic as your medium as yes. well. And do you use any other medium? Do you, anything else that you would use or is it just mainly acrylic? It's acrylic. I use some uh, tempura. I also use um, ink, ink gels. I put ink into it as well. And I use a little bit of oil just to spot certain areas. It just depends on, on my move and what's, uh, what's supposed to come through me. Okay. And so this, um, let me have a look at the one in your room here, this big one here. These are back to the growth series, yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. And so let's have a look at these two big pieces because they're huge. Yes. They're five foot wide. This one is Serenity. Wow. Very serene. It's hard for the camera to pick up just how beautiful it is. Uh, like in person, you can not only see the texture really well, but also just how it stands out, and it's it's really unique, especially against the flat. So I can imagine that it's hard to take pictures of this for your website or anything that to get a really good understanding of how the art actually looks. Yes. You, you really need to see it in person. It's, yes. it's very... Yeah, that is the one trouble with uh, photographs is they just don't show the depth of, of each piece and mm -hmm. the texture of it. You can see it here where the shows the separation where you can see it so much thicker, but when you actually see it in person, it's much more three-dimensional. Right. Okay, and then what was your last one you would like to show us? Uh, this one here is part of, uh, it's called the Chakra Series. Okay. And I have all the chakras. I've got all seven of them, and these are just four of them, where I've taken where it's in the center, where you have light moved into the color and then all the way down to a lot of deep texture in the center and I added extra objects, sometimes marble, sometimes glass, it just depends. Okay. So thank you, Lisa. It's been great seeing your art today. Thank you very much.